some of them are really big. See that? Some of them are bigger, they have long tail. once again good day to all of us welcome back to our channel today allow me to give you an update about our calico fry this is the fry of the broad tail calico oranda which was loaded just two weeks ago and during the time we placed them here they are just so tiny but now they are already big and what I am doing right now is I am draining half of the water. In my video yesterday, I said that the effective way to grow this goldfish, whatever kind of goldfish, blackmoor, oranda, whatever it is that are belong to goldfish family, the way of caring them is through this method. And what is this method? Of course, I repeatedly share to you my experience. I've been in this business for almost 20 years now and one of the things that I've learned from my previous mistakes is that these goldfishes can thrive in a temperature that is not less than 30 degrees centigrade. In other words, the temperature is really very vital in growing this ornamental fishes because if the temperature will drop up to 10 or 5 degrees centigrade then this tropical fishes will experience white spots will ex experience so many kinds of disease the good thing in this country the philippines we are a tropical country and our temperature will not drop all of a sudden we have almost the same temperature from sunrise to sunset and this is a good thing. And another thing is that this goldfish will grow fast if you will feed them with live food. Of course, you can give commercial food, but don't forget to give them live food during the day. If you can give the breakfast commercial food, then be sure that you are giving live food during lunch or their dinner. If the water is already contaminated then you will immediately drain the half of it and place new water so what I'm doing now is this technique of course I am draining out the half because it seems that their movement is no longer healthy when can we say that the movement of the goldfishes are no longer healthy well you can see them at the top and they're producing bubbles so they will produce bubbles like that meaning that they don't have oxygen at the bottom of this tank or underneath so immediately you have to flush out half of the water and then put new water so i will catch some of them i will catch these cute ones here so this is less than one month they're really big and they are very full <laughs> very cute look at them see that so you can compare their sizes some of them are bigger they have they have long tail and some are also having problems with deformities but we will do the culling after two weeks from now and what we will do for the ones that are not good quality, we will feed them with our flower horn. And uh, yes, uh, I'm sharing this to encourage the breeders. And maybe you can also adapt some of the techniques that we employ, some of the methods that we use. Maybe this is applicable to you. There is no hard and fast rule here. But what I'm telling you now is my experience and I have failed so many times but then in this method 
I am quite uh, successful. But by the way, hey, you will release them because they will not survive in this very little tank. They are too plenty. And by the way, as you can see here at my back, these are our containers for the tube effects worm. Many have asked, oh, you stopped culturing tube effects worm. What happened? Well, of course, I have to tell you, in my experience, tube effects worm is good for our koi fry. So every time that I have hatch of this koi fry, I will culture tube effects worm. But since we don't have hatch yet of our koi, then I decided to just temporarily use this as our breeding containers for the betta fish. And if you can see that, I have so many breeding containers and each of this container have a bottle in the middle, that's the female betta, and they are now on the process of their acquaintance. They're getting to know each other and tomorrow we will release the female and hopefully they will have a good time and they will pass through this acquaintance stage and they will breed and they will lay eggs. So this is the reason why we don't have tube effects warm here because we don't have koi so far. So maybe next month if we have Japanese koi fry, we will again culture this tube effects worm. As you can see here, I have so many mosquito larvae and many have expressed their concern about Oh Dexter, what happened if this mosquito larva will not be consumed by this species and it will fly and it will suck your blood? Well, I already have made an estimation of this so I make sure that this larva will be consumed before 5 p.m. and that's what I'm doing here as you can see, they are always eating. And you know what? I don't believe in overfeeding of goldfish. As long as the water condition is very good. Because if they are so full enough, they feel full already, they will stop eating. And the condition of the water will help them digest their food. But if the water is contaminated, then of course, when they get very full, they will really die because they cannot digest. So that's the update that we can give you and uh, I hope you will learn something out of this video and if you are new to our channel, we'd like to ask you to please like and share our videos and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our upcoming videos only here at Dexter's World.